Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Today we're in the middle of a heat wave, which is uh, simulating what it would have been like to serve on this ship in the South Pacific during World War II, or off the coast of Vietnam during our Vietnam deployment. It's uh, just touching the triple digits right now, and we've got a section of deck here where we have partially ripped up the wood and partially left it intact. We're on the O2 level amidships above officer staterooms. And this brings up the reason for why uh, we have a wood deck at all. The steel here, uh, where there should be wood, does not pass the 10 second touch test. I get about uh, two seconds before it's too hot for me to handle. While the wood here is perfectly fine. I can definitely tell that I'm sitting on something that's been sitting out in the sun, but my pants aren't on fire like in the Looney Tunes cartoons. So, uh, you can tell that the officer stateroom under this is going to be much better climate controlled than the officer stateroom here. So, we are going to attempt to cook an egg on the steel deck here. So, let's give it a shot. So you can tell that the deck is sloped a little bit outboard. The ship is sitting at more or less a, an even keel right now. In fact, we might have a one or two degree list out to the port side, whereas this is going out to the starboard side. But the deck does slope down to shed water more easily. Notice how it's already starting to cook here on the edge where it's thinned out. That is either a good sign or a bad sign, depending on whether you wanted air conditioning or a cooked egg. All right, it is 1.32 by my watch. Uh, at this point, I think it's a matter of when, not if. So let's see how long it takes to fry this egg up on the deck. So we've been going for about 15 minutes now. You can see that uh, it has turned pretty white, especially on the bottom, but it's, it's still taking its time cooking through. You can also see that this side over here has evaporated, and as it has done that, it has caused this primer to peel up, uh, which is interesting. I've never seen that happen before. I'm not quite sure what chemical action is going on there between the egg and this, uh, I believe it's an oil-based primer that we used uh, that's causing it to flake off like that. So, uh, at this point, it's been about a half hour, and uh, it looks like the egg is doing more damage to the ship than the ship is doing to the egg, so we're going to call it. We did get some uh, partial cooking, but also I'm seeing like some rainbow here in the egg, which might be the oil from this primer leaching up as the egg is peeling the primer off the deck. Again, I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. Uh, let's see. That is pretty freaking solid there. That, that egg is just adhered to the deck. There's a pretty good skin on top. That's pretty hard. Hmm. Let's pull out the contingency plan and see if we can't finish cooking this. Just like mother used to make it. So can we scrape this up at all? We did not think to uh, spray Pam on the deck. And the bulk of the egg has evaporated. There's some yolk. So that's uh, as, far as, as far as we got. It, it seemed to evaporate more than actually cook. Now, it's important to mention that oftentimes the decks of this ship that were not covered in wood for insulation for just this thing uh, were painted a dark color, usually dark blue, uh, also known as deck gray. So this this color was used uh, to camouflage the ship from view from above. 
Now you'll notice that uh, the deck here is probably about three-eighths of an inch thick, maybe half an inch. The deck in other places is up to an inch and a half thick. But thin metal that covers horizontal surfaces, like the top of this ready service ammunition locker right here, is painted white to prevent the inside from heating up too badly. In fact, the museum nowadays paints the deck a couple of shades lighter than it would have been in service, specifically because the darker color causes the deck to be hotter and fades in the sun a lot quicker. So while it's still a darker gray than the overall haze gray that the vertical surfaces get, the horizontal surfaces are not as dark as they would be in service, which, which appears almost black in many pictures. So uh, that is our attempt to cook an egg on the battleship. Um, the primer does not like the egg. So otherwise, uh, today is the hottest day in the uh, Philadelphia area. We're touching 101 degrees right now. How hot has it gotten where you are this summer? Let us know in the comment section down below. Or are you in the southern hemisphere going through winter? Remind us what it's like where it's cold out. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate the support you guys have given the museum over the years. And there's a link in the description below if you'd like to continue donating to support us. You can also support the museum by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about us and our channel. Thanks for watching.